It's important. Uh, it's, it's scarce. It has a way of, uh, you know, changing. It seems like sometimes, you know, time goes slow, sometimes it's fast, it's, it's ever-changing. Sometimes in, in like the, the worst of ways, sometimes when you want time to go faster, it's, it seems so slow, and when you want it to go slow, you know, it goes so fast. Time, uh, the words that will perfectly go well with it is motion, stop. There's not a lot of it. Time makes me feel that every second that goes by is ticking down the last of my own time. I would say small, precious. It's very precious. Few and far in between. Hi, my name is Michael Roach. I'm an artist. I'm self-taught and I'm still not a professional yet, but I'm still working through a little bit more how to draw and how to get things done. I guess goals is kind of make something out of myself. And that's also a process because you have to relate to people outside your comfort zone. I love photography that tells a story it's in the moment that where people are doing things now instead of just posing for the camera, I think that's more realistic. Especially with me, I work with 35 millimeter film. You work with only 36 pictures uh, negative film that you have to take. So you have to be precise of what you're going to take and you got to take it right. That's good. My name's Kyle Pinsons. I, you know, I have a lot of hobbies. I have kind of actually all over the place with my hobbies, you know. I like doing like programming stuff, working on projects with that. I, I play guitar. In fact, I actually play guitar for a little group we called Past Reality. I do some outdoor activities sometimes, you know. I go out and like walk, walk around the woods and stuff. Uh, I, sometimes I get into like photography and film stuff sometimes. <laughs> My name is Russell Gunlack. I'm a full-time worker at a deli and a part-time music producer. I'm currently working towards learning music theory and learning a program on FL Studio, which is a, a music program. I am more specifically, I slice the meats for sandwiches. I work at Johnson Mills University. I'll slice out the kits on the slicer. We just like package it, put it in a box, package it, put it in a box, slice, package it, put it in a box. It's basically my job. So, my producer name is Plate 4, I haven't mentioned that. It's been six years. I started off as a beginner musician, excited at everything I do. So I made one thing a day. It wasn't exhausting because I loved doing it. And then I started to make higher quality stuff. And I changed my producer name from Greek Prophet to Plate 4 around this time. I started posting stuff on Spotify, Apple Music, etc. It's P-L-E-I-G-H-T-F-O-U-R. Today, I have four releases on those sites. The first one is Divided, second one Abstract, third one is Bleeding Heart, and the fourth one I just uploaded, it is Crowd Pleaser. You know, I can't think of a time in my life when I'm not struggling with time. School was when it, it was first started to notice that like I was really struggling with my time management. Part of it has to do with the fact that I, I have ADD and that's not the whole picture, but like it doesn't help. It's just a small part of it really, but I, I, I do struggle with time management. You, like getting projects done and stuff, I'm the kind of person to always put them, they try to do them last minute. I don't want to do it last minute, but it always ends up happening. I think when I first started um, going to Met, my internship was at the Annex and my whole project was at that time for my exhibitions and exhibitions were like every year we have to show off what we did for this whole entire year. So I wanted to do a comic and the whole managing time itself and crunch time was like, oh, I'll get it done tomorrow or um, I don't like it and start over, redo it again, start over and redo it again. And I end up with my exhibition only having like two pages 
done. And we had to do it on the last minute. There hasn't been a time in my life where I haven't struggled with time management. The situation that comes to mind first is my music theory tutoring. I'm struggling to find the time between having a full-time job and, you know, basic essentials like showering, eating, and sleeping. I, I constantly think to myself, how am I going to do this? Am I going to be able to learn music theory? Am I going to be able to progress as a musician? And if I don't have enough time, will I ever progress as a musician? And that scares me. Yes, definitely. Um, I've kind of learned how to manage my time and especially kind of just put more effort into my drawing and kind of just put my foot down and get my work done, even just for a sketch. We'll do a sketch for today and then we'll ink it tomorrow. And I think that's a better progress than waiting a whole year to actually get two pages done. Buckling down and doing the work and trying to stir away from just watching YouTube or talking to friends all the time and doing what I need to do first. That would help me very much because after work, I'll just go home, talk to friends, watch YouTube. But what I need to do is buckle down and do the work. Right now, I'm actually really proud because for the first time in a while, I have a project I'm really committing to. I'm making a kind of a mod for a video game right now. It's like a horror game and it's, it's, it's going really well. And I've been getting better at managing my time with that, just the fact that this project is like kind of a huge project, which I thought wouldn't be good for me because I thought I would get distracted and, you know, not want to work on it. But actually there's so many elements to this project, like writing and like actually coding, coming up with story elements and filming for it actually. Because my interests like sway so much, when I get bored of something, I have something else to switch to. It's just like having a bunch of ways to use my time, but still working towards one goal. I've been working with my mentor on his own TV show called Art Matters, and we interview people around Rhode Island in their art field. And I find that very interesting because everyone has a story to tell at the end of the day, but it's mostly editing. That's where it comes down to it. You gotta make the person feel that it's it's correct but again I'm doing the same mistakes that I did before in art where I kind of just like uh, I'll do it tomorrow and it ends up being it, it spans it spans like a loaf of bread it's just like you don't get anything done but now I'm learning just to get just get half of the editing done and half of the editing done tomorrow so that works out perfectly I've actually done some research on getting better at like motivation and stuff. I've realized that starting something, even if it's taking a small step, can really help to motivate you to do more. Like with this project, you know, I might be like, oh, I don't really feel like working on it right now. But I'll be like, no, but I really do want to get it done. So I'll be like, okay, well, I'm going to start just writing down really small notes on like ideas I have. And just anything that comes into my mind, like, oh, this would be a cool thing to do. And then Next thing you know, I'm getting really into it, I'm writing down these notes, and then it branches out into me working on more parts of the project and ends up being good for my time. Probably not. For me, time is very precious, again, because I worry about my own, like, existence on this planet. I hate to be that kind of guy, but I am very nervous of not getting to be known as a, a creator of my own work. Like, I was doing this way back in 2016 and now it's 2022. For me, it's scary because I want to become something now because I hate waiting. I like to get it done now. Has my definition of time changed? Right now, I think I do have a slightly different definition. I don't think it's as scarce as you think it is, but in reality, I think we have a lot more time than we think. I think it's just how you use the time that we have. Uh, you know, if, if, if you spend your time just sitting, thinking about projects you want to do, then time is going to seem so short. But if you spend that time, every waking moment, like really going toward your goals and doing what you want to do, time, it's going to seem like you have a lot of time because you'll always be using it.
Yeah, yeah, hi man, yeah. Yeah, how are you? Yeah, good, good, I'm good. Yeah, 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 I did see it. I did see it, yeah. Yeah, I thought it was alright. I thought it was pretty good. You know, like, you get the, you get the different people, like, their perspectives on it, and you get kind of like, uh, yeah, kind of like down on, yeah, like down on, um, their level, yeah. Yeah, like, like, you can really, like, level with the, with the people, you know. I think it's great. I think it's a great formula. Uh, yeah, just, just, like, kind of, like, getting to know their experiences. I think it's good. I did, I did watch it. I didn't watch it all the way through, though. Yeah, um, you know, I'm really busy right now. I have a lot of things that I, um, that I need to do. Uh, so I don't really have a whole lot of time. But, you know, I think, I think it was pretty good, you know. Yeah, I'll, um, oh, wait, 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 before you go, I just want to say, like, I think the perspectives, I, I do think they are good, but, like, they, it's, like, missing something. Like, a professional, like, standpoint. Like, someone who's actually, like, educated in, like, helping people, like, helping people understand how to, how to manage their time and how to, like, uh, like, take control of their life, you know? Like, I mean, like, these people, obviously, you know, they have good perspectives, but I don't really know, they don't really have a background. None of them have a background in... You did? R really? You actually got a person. <laughs> That's awesome. That's really cool. Wow. I, yeah, yeah, I didn't watch to the end. Wow, okay. Yeah, well, um, I will. I will. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah, it's, um, that's cool. Yeah, all right. I'll, uh, I'll let you go. Yeah, sure. Yeah, see you around. Bye. is fleeting, uh, yet at times lumberously slow. I would describe time as the only resource that we have that is non-renewable. You can't ever get it back. Once it's gone, you can't recapture it. It's valuable. It is underrated. I was a teacher for a very long time. So working with students to enable them to be their best selves, I found that having to be organized in my physical space, yet very aware of how I was using my time was crucial to be, being the most effective teacher that I could be. A number of years ago, about 15 years ago, I was ready for something to change. I was going through some shifts in my own life and I was looking for a different career and I discovered professional organizing, which is something that I'd always had a kind of a natural affinity for, but I discovered NAPO, which is the National Association of Productivity and Organizing Professionals. And I began to get some training and some certification to work with folks to organize their physical space. And then I began to realize that my favorite projects were those that involved helping coaching people to use their time better, to be more productive. So I kind of took my business and, and narrowed it down. To me, it's fascinating to work with different people and everybody's brain works differently. And for me as a teacher, it was just the perfect situation because I was accustomed to making my, my lessons something that could be approachable by any student whether they were visual learners or whether they were oral learners, I had to learn how to communicate in the same concept in a bunch of different ways. So to me, it was the variety, but it was the opportunity to, I think, really make a change in someone's life that led me into time management and productivity coaching. I noticed at the beginning of the pandemic, a couple of years ago, I was, of course, like everybody else, start forced to work from home. Instead of going out into people's spaces, I was forced to work with folks virtually. And business had slowed down quite a bit because everybody was grappling with this crazy situation that we were all in. So I had a lot of open time on my hands. And I found that 
it took about six months or so for me to realize that whoa, six months of my life just went by where I had all that extra time that I never had before to do all these projects that I always said, if I had more time, I would do this. You know, write a book or whatever it is. And I hadn't done any of it because time became this kind of just thing that passed by without any borders. There were no boundaries around it because we didn't have a regular structured I didn't at least have a regular structured work day. So I did find myself just wasting an inordinate amount of time because it was just sitting around watching Netflix and scrolling on social media and doing stuff that I probably wouldn't have spent a ton of time on. I mean, I've always done a little bit of that because that's a nice release for your brain, you know, when you've been working. But I was spending all of my time and I, it was a wake up call to me to say, wow, you know, this time that went away is never coming back. You just wasted like six months of your life, woman, doing nothing productive. So I had to kind of have a little come to Jesus talk with myself, kind of like what I do with my clients, and say, all right, what do I want to do? What do I want to accomplish? What are my goals? How can I use this time that was gifted to me, essentially, in a positive and productive way? And in order to do that, I had to instill, or I should say reinstill, because I had done this before, the habit of sitting down at the end of every day and literally planning out how I was going to use my time. I used time blocking over the next day and the next couple of days and sitting down with a couple of big projects that I had kind of just let languish and uh, break them down into pieces and say, all right, on this day at this time, I'm going to work on this. And on this day at this time, I'm going to work on this. And it was just reestablishing that habit of putting a plan into place and then actually following through on it. The first piece of advice is kind of what I started with, is to realize that time is more valuable than anything else that we have. Because once it's gone, as I said before, you can't get it back. So I think people need to realize, you know, if someone, if someone walked up to you and said, can I have $1,000? You would think really, really hard about giving away that $1,000. But if someone comes up to you and says, well, can I just have a few hours of your time? We're so much freer and easier with giving away our time. But that money, we could probably always get back. That time will never come back. So my advice is to think really hard about what, how you're spending your time and what you're using your time on so that you, you're really using it to focus on your goals and your priorities. You gotta get the big picture first. Um, Stephen Covey in his book, um, First Things First, tells a story about big rocks and a professor putting a big jar on a table and putting big rocks in it and asking if the jar is full and he gradually adds gravels and gravel and stones and then he adds sand and then he adds water and the moral of the story as one of the kids in his class said well it's if your schedule is full you can always fit in one more thing you're never too full and his point was no nah, you gotta put the big rocks in first and that if i have to say anything would be the most important thing when it comes to our time figure out what your big rocks are and put those into your life first. Do your homework. You won't have enough time to do it later. Get it done. Get it done now. That's, that's the main couple of words you need. Now. One word, now. Get it done now. Because if you put it off, you end up putting everything off. And especially that goes with anything. It's best to get things done now so it's out in the way. All done.